Do rabbits suffer from toothaches? Yes, they do. And the most common cause is malocclusion. What is malocclusion? Malocclusion means misaligned teeth where the upper and lower teeth do not meet. Keep watching this video to learn more about malocclusion, the prevention and its treatment. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Tupayo Vets. Tupayo Vets is located at 1002 Lorong 8 Tupayo 01-1477 and the postal code is Singapore 319074. Tupayo is located in the northern part of the central region of Singapore. Tupayo is the first town that was planned and developed by the Housing and Development Board. The size of Tupayo is 817 hectares and the population is 120,650 people. In people, the permanent teeth stops growing. In this photo, there is no malocclusion as the upper and lower jaws are aligned. However, a rabbit's teeth are constantly growing, but if they are not worn out by chewing and grinding of the food, they overgrow sideways, forward or backward. This picture shows a rabbit with normal bite, which is also called scissors bite. There is no malocclusion as the incisor teeth in the upper jaw are in contact and neatly overlap with those in the bottom jaw. This example is a normal scissors bite seen in dogs. This is also known as normal occlusion. Topayo Vets has a case of malocclusion. This case study is about an older dwarf rabbit that has malocclusion. It was brought to Topayo Vets on 17 April 2020. As we can see in this photo, the four upper incisors grew inwards towards the mouth and the two lower ones grew outwards. The lower two could have fractured as they look very short. Doctor, why does my rabbit have such long and twisted teeth while other rabbits do not have this problem? There are two main reasons. One is based on genetics and dwarf breeds like yours are more prone to it due to their smaller head and jaw size. The other more common reason is their diet. 80% of a rabbit's diet should be hay, with 10% of leafy vegetables, 5% pellets, and the other 5% is fruits. Fruits are considered treats as they are high in glucose, which is why it is given in a small amount. What is the treatment for my rabbit? We will first take an x-ray of your rabbit's teeth and jaw to diagnose the condition and see the severity of the malocclusion. The first treatment option is trimming the overgrown teeth. However, if it is severe, the treatment is removing the affected teeth. Your pet will need to be healthy to undergo dental surgery as it requires anesthesia. How do we prevent it? Malocclusion can be easily prevented by feeding the correct diet. As I mentioned earlier, hay is a crucial ingredient in a rabbit's diet as it helps trim the constantly growing rabbit's teeth. Routine health check every twice to thrice a year ensures that the rabbit's teeth are not overgrown. When the normal growing of the teeth is observed during vet visits, the teeth are trimmed before it gets overgrown. It is important to know that malocclusion is easily prevented but costly when it comes to treatment. Also, it is dangerous for rabbits to suffer from dental issues as undetected cases will make your pet stop eating. Rabbits need a continuous supply of food moving through their digestive system. Even one day without food can cause serious digestive disorder and further health complications like death. A rabbit will die if it is not treated as it becomes malnourished and dehydrated over time. Rabbits are prone to other dental problems which are called molar spurs. Molar spurs are sharp edges developed by overgrown molars. They are present when the incisors are overgrown and causes difficulty in chewing the food properly. Molar spurs can lead to jaw abscess, cheek ulceration and entrapment of the tongue. The complications of dental problems are very painful and expensive treatment. It is important to bring your rabbits for regular dental exams at Topayo Vets every twice to thrice a year. A rabbit's diet should be mainly hay and always ensure that your rabbit is eating well. Be very attentive to your pet, as drooling, weight loss and inappetence are signs of dental issues. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. For more information, please call our clinic's number or visit our clinic website at topayovets.com.